Here I have half a gallon of crude oil made from plastic waste with my microwave pyrolysis reactor. Now just like real crude oil, this plastic crude oil can be refined with one of these right here, a distiller. So without further ado, let's go ahead and pour her in there, shebang shabam, get this stuff refined. So we're going to be running this still off of natural gas made from plastic waste. I keep it in that big recovery tank, 239, compressed right from the reactor with a recovery pump. You can see the flame on there burns pretty good. Our lower thermometer here is reading 60C at this point in time, but I just got this thing started. See a little bit of vapors coming up. A little bit later, you see that we're getting up to around a 90C, which is in the range of petrol to be coming over. And yeah, do look at the color, because the color was just as confusing to me as it is to you. Now this could be up to two things. One, I need to make my fractionating column taller, right? It's not getting proper separation to get these colors out. But we know it's gasoline because look at the temperatures. Petrol comes over at 70C. This was around um, 90C, so the petrol range is 70 to 120C. We're in the range of petrol, as you can see here. Because we weren't even at 100C. So I know this is gasoline, the gasoline fraction, uh, but it just has this color. And as I said, it either could be because my fraction in column wasn't tall enough, or my it's because my pipes were dirty. I've reused these pipes. They were used in my reactor. So anyways, I got some of the petrol. I mix it with some two-stroke oil here. Just a few drops, drips, you know, not too much, but enough to where we can lubricate an engine pretty well. And I got some in this graduated beaker here. You can see some of the different colorations. It started to get clearer as it went on. But I got this brand new weed whacker, this Badger weed whacker from Amazon, very cheap, two stroke. Just wanted to see if we could run it off of the petrol. I didn't even put gasoline in this thing to break it in. Gasoline made from plastic, gasoline from plastic mixed with the two strike oil. It's in there. It's in the primer. Let's get it started.
<laughs> Whoa! Plastic waste, baby! guys ready all right let's do it we're about to run this weed whacker right here this brand new weed whacker brand new off of gasoline made from plastic waste live in vivo as I say so you see brand new weed whacker tag on it let's do it and um, so we got the gasoline right here this gasoline unfortunately came out of dirty pipes so it's discolored but it burns like gasoline i've tested it so but this is good proof that you know it's not i didn't just get pump gasoline because tell me where you can get gasoline that looks like this so if the engine runs off of this then you know it's legit so we're going to put this in 50 mil and we're going to put in some two stroke engine oil just a few little drippy drop droppy drips okay of engine oil straining out this camera here all right guys we're gonna put it in. You guys can all see cool. Just making sure. Hey, quadruple checking every camera can see what's going on. Cause if this works, you, it will, it, you don't want to miss it. If this works. All right, 50 mil in. You saw poured in. You saw it. You can't make it up. It's poured in. All right. Two stroke engine oil. I'm not putting in some real gasoline, no extra crap to fake it. This is two-stroke engine oil. Take a look. All right, we're going to get it in a little dropper. Put it in a little dropper so you can see. Hey, and listen, guys, you got to show some love if this works. You guys got to show some love if this works because this is going to be awesome. All right, look, you see it in. I'm not putting this much in there, but you see it's two-stroke engine oil. It's nothing else. It's two-stroke engine oil, all right. We're gonna put some drops in. And then we're gonna shake it up in here so it mixes. That should be enough. That should be enough. So you guys, you know, people always ask me, is this dude legit? Is he actually making these fuels that he says he is? And we're about to see today, right? We're about to see. We're about to see, indeed, if I really make the fuels, I say I do. All right, it's in there. Now we're gonna get the primer bulb. The primer bulb, I don't think I'll be able to show you guys that up close, but we're gonna prime it. Squeeze this bulb about seven times. All right, bulb pressed, it's primed. Let's see. Can we start this engine off of gasoline made from plastic, plastiline, live? Let's see. All right, put it on choke. Oh. <laughs> Yes! 
asking me for anything else in this engine. Brand new. Let's go. That's right. It's running so good. It's running just like gasoline. Look. <laughs> Look, I have nothing else to add. The, it spoke for itself. That thing ran amazing. I didn't hear any any stutters, any chugs. The engine didn't even have black smoke coming out the back. There you go. Hey, like I always say, you guys love what I do. Support the work. Donate. Do what you can. Keep this project going. Because look, guys, I've been doing this for four years. I've ran these engines before. I knew it was going to work because I've done this before. All right, so unfortunately, I did not have enough natural gas to get much of the diesel or jet fuel fraction out. but. It was getting late anyway, but you can see I was starting to get some diesel gas, uh, some diesel or jet fuel fraction here. That's what it was looking like, looking pretty good. So we're going to have to revisit this still another time when I have more natural gas and we're going to get some diesel. But it was starting to almost look like cracking was going on in that sight glass. So we might have to put this under vacuum in order to get this diesel out without actually cracking the oils on the inside. Look at all that white vapor. It looks like pyrolysis. You guys let me know what I might have to do, but it will make it move lower temperatures anyway. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you want to support the project, you can go to naturejab.com merch or naturejab.com donate. Once again, I appreciate you all for watching.